system has a set of screen prompts, a set of instructions that will step you through how to do this by pushing the home screen in the upper left hand corner. Next screen, push the control icon. And just letting you know this is password protected. The default password is 1234. And in this case, we're going down to Shutdown Wizard. And putting into Maintenance Bypass. First thing it has you do is transfer the load to static switch since currently you're running on the UPS inverter. If you have a paralleling cabinet, we'll go ahead and direct you to close the maintenance bypass breaker. If you notice on the switch gear, there's an OK to operate light letting you know the logic has recognized that it's OK to operate this breaker. It will not de-energize the load by doing so and you will not make an uncontrolled parallel. If you notice, I'm unable to close this bypass breaker right now because there's an interlock that's actually shut. The key for this is located at the top of the panel. You're able to unlock this key. And shut the breaker. The system now directs to open the UPS output breaker. Again, we have the OK to operate. Once the breaker is open, since this has a key associated with it, we'll go ahead and lock that breaker, remove the key, insert that back into the interlock up top, and twist that to lock in place. And turn the inverter off. Yes. I open the static switch input breaker, two hand operation, open the battery breakers, once completed you can step to the next page. And the last step is to open your UPS input breaker. Okay, now the UPS is in full wraparound bypass and it will look like it's shut down, and, but you'll still have power to your load through your maintenance bypass.